Welcome back to another RV walkthrough. Today we're looking at another Highline Tag Axle Diesel Pusher. Today it is a 2002 Monaco Dynasty Regal. This is a 42 foot pusher. It's got a 400 Cummins motor paired with the third generation Allison transmission. Now it is, like I said, about 42 feet long. It's a double AC system. It's got three slides, and we'll be able to check all that out on the inside. But let's first off, let's take a peek at the exterior here. So first thing to point out, we do have a window awning. I'm sorry, a door awning, and that is a manual awning. And then as an option, the carefree awning right here that is on this slide is electric, and it will come out with the push of a button. We, are, we do have a little bit of wind, and I know I say this a lot, but I don't want to be the one to break an awning because of uh, the wind ripping it off. First area you feel feel right there. I think if I'm not mistaken, it's 130 gallons. I'll have to double check and then you can see propane right next to it. First pass through and it is a full slide out tray. As you can see, it will go both ways. That is also an option. And then we have an additional slide out tray right here. Does not go all the way through, but will come out this side. Whole lot of wiring in there. You got a couple whole coach water filter, water lines, water pumps, hydraulic pumps. I mean, all types of fun stuff. So those are your first compartments and we got the batteries down there. Now it is of course full body paint. Now as you know, older diesel pushers do start getting a little bit of fiberglass cracking and darker. It's not too bad, but it isn't, it's hard to see on the video looking at it, but on the dark areas, dark paint, you do have some of that starting. But overall the paint is in great condition. Tires, tires are dated 2014. This is the only one that's not matching good years. It is a Toyo. They probably, that one's a couple years newer. So, but all the other ones are about 2014. You do have a couple window awnings on this coach, which you'll be able to see on this side and the other side. A whole lot of batteries to say the least, both on trays. So easy to access, kind of nice. Oh, that sun is brutal. I'm sorry if you're not able to see the uh, coach in its full glory. So we're going to jump up on the roof too. I want to show you this beautiful roof. It does have a panel up there for solar. And then I'll show you this engine compartment. So let me climb up. All right. Absolutely beautiful roof. And I love how they have the paint up the sides of it. One piece fiberglass up here. See those two AC systems. And I'm sorry, there's only one solar panel. I thought there was two. And then a couple of covers. You got a wine guard system in there. And your air horns all the way up front. All right. Let's jump back down. I didn't jump down actually. I climbed down the ladder. So it is a side radiator. <laughs> there we go. It's got a 400 Cummins ISL motor, and that is an option. This usually came with, I think, a 370, if I'm not mistaken. So that's a good upgrade. 10,000 pound hitch on the back. Should be seven way. Seven way connector. Oh, all right. Mosey on over to this here driver's side. You can see that additional window on in right there, and the two additional slides. I do have the jack sound on this coach. As you can see, we've got two in the back, one in the front. So it's a three-point auto leveling system with hydraulic power. Dump station. I love these how these doors open, too. Kind of like a Greyhound bus. See a gray and your black dump station. Looks like another water pump. Outdoor shower, flushes, all types of fun stuff. Cable is on a reel, which is kind of cool. That was also an option. Then you just got a light control, and that's what's behind this is just your power cord now all the compartments under here of course a little hard to access with the slide out but let me still show you so your first one is going to be the other side of that pass-through storage as i said it does not come out both ways it is only one way the next storage compartment is the other slide out tray and this will come out this way which is kind of cool and then finally very similar to what you just saw on the other side fuel tank fuel fill on both sides and then your lp tank it's huge went and then i want to point out slide toppers do have metal covers and your uh, window awnings do also have metal covers a little bit of wiring going on in here but we do have a gen in and out slide so you can see that go in and out very cool we'll wrap around you can see that 7500 diesel gen set easy to access and that's about the exterior the only issues I've really noticed besides the paint checking, you do have a little, it's gonna be hard to see on the video, a little dent on that awning cover. I don't know if you can see it, it's hard to see, but it is up there. All right, let's get inside out of the wind. One step up, then we got a few more in. And 
then this is the look right when you walk in the coach. And there's going to be plenty to talk about in here, but let's just start up front in the cab area. The first area, leveling jacks. Then you got shades. You can move your pedals in and out, mirror controls, Allison shifter, more buttons, awning, I'm sorry, battery boost, block heater, fans, mirror heat. I mean, it just goes on and on. Over here, backup camera screen. They did upgrade whatever was there before to a little bit more modern tape deck. I always say tape deck, but it's not a tape deck. I got a CB radio in here where they broke the back connection, of course, as usual. All right, let's see how many miles this guy has. I think it's about 169,000. Until it, wait to start, wait to, there we go. God, it starts up like a dream. And I'm sorry, I was a little off on the miles, 161. Come on, 161, 457. The beeping, it's because the jacks are down, if you're wondering. Doesn't want me to start driving away, which I don't blame it. And then we do have a little drawer there. Why is that staying out of focus, my gosh. And then your awning controls right there when you open the door. Seats are both flex steel leather seats, and they are in really good condition. I wonder if they recovered these. I actually, I'm pretty sure there is a uh, couple seat covers in the back, so they must have had some seat covers. Power front driver seat, and then your passenger seat is also power. And on this side, you have a leg rest that comes out, which is kind of nice. Now we do also have a power shade right in front of us. I can lift that up on the passenger side or driver's side. That's mainly a sun shade. And then there is another shade that comes down, not when the motor's on, for your blackout shade. And finally, step cover. Nice and snug. <laughs> All right, let's move on back. So right to our left, we have a couple cabinet trees and then all types of amp readers, level testers, gen start. You can see seven, oh, no, you can't see it. 1748 on the gen set. And then slide control, a couple light controls. This focus is gonna kill me. Wine guard system there. And these should just be cabinets. Nothing too crazy up top. Same concept over on this side. I love the cabinetry. It looks a little weird at first, but I do absolutely love it. It's all solid wood in this coach. I mean, it's, it's an old Monaco. People dream of these. All right, so double slides up front and then one in the back for the bedroom. We're gonna go through everything in the slides. First off, let's start on the driver's side because there was a little bit changed in here. As you can tell, it's these two chairs. I'm sure they had a couch here or something. I got a floor plan printout over there on the table. I'll show you. Um, so before we look at all the cabinets, literally everywhere, let's take a quick peek at some of this paperwork. So this is from our website, our printout of our, kind of our sales ad. See the price, 55 grand. And this is all from the brochure. You are welcome to pause this and read it at any time. Here's the spec list. I highlighted some of the options that I know for sure it does have and everything else just comes standard. And then finally, over here on this bottom one, you can see that ISL 400 at the top right. Here's all your tank sizes, lengths, 41 feet, 10 inches, water heaters, 10 feet, fresh is 100, feel is 130. It's a serious tank. Now this coach is of course an air ride, air brake system. You actually, being a tag actually, you have 10 airbags in this coach and then 10 Bilstein shocks. So it is such a comfortable ride. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put you guys on pause, open up some of the cabinets here on this slide and show you, be right back. All right, so as you can see above the dinette, you have three cabinets all connected. And it's kind of interesting, this is a little tiered in there. And then over on the right above the two recliners, same concept except it's not a full passage. They're all individual cabinets. Like I said, two individual recliners here. I think they do, they do turn and twist and recline. They're actually quite comfortable. You can see how deep you sit in there. And then under the dinette, you have this exact storage on the other side, but I thought I'd just show you one. And then finally about the dinette, I already have it in there, but this is extended. This is a leaf that you store in the closet in the rear. All right, 
So now we got your passenger side slide, which includes a couch and of course your full kitchen. So let me do the same thing, open up all the cabinets, close the ones behind me so we can take a peek. All right, here it is. Looks a little chaotic with everything open, but gives me a good opportunity to show you what's going on. So you get a nice wide leather couch here. Obviously you got a couple wrinkles in it. It's the original couch. Storage under the couch, which is nice. And then once again, same as above the recliners, three storage areas, all separately connected. Got walls between, a lot of paperwork in there. All right, now the kitchen. Eh, the kitchen has so much storage. So first off, you got a leaf that pops up there. Look how deep that drawer is, my gosh. And I love the way the kitchen is set up. So up above, an insane amount of cabinetry. Two in the middle are connected. And then of course your convection microwave, and then more storage over there. Now the stove top and the sink are both inlaid, so the covers are kind of nice and smooth when they are on, but they all have Corian covers. And this is nice, you can see your Atwood in there. Down below, a whole lot of storage. And then you have two drawers this size, nice and deep. You got one that's about half the size, and then you also have a pull-out extra kind of cutting board. And now these are usually wood. This has that same Corian finish, which is awesome. And finally, under the sink, a little bit more storage. So that is the kitchen. The only thing left in this area is, of course, the four-door refrigerator. And this is a Norco propane or electric. No ice maker in this guy. Something to point out. You'll see what they were using for ice in a second. And a couple little baby ice trays. Uh, this is a three-way fridge propane electric or directly plugged in now behind the door solid wood door we do have your bathroom and of course your bedroom let me get the middle shut down and we'll go explore all right so making our way back a couple drawers under the fridge i forgot to point out nothing too crazy but more storage these are sliders and they will lock into place and there is two separating the bathroom from the galley and the bedroom from the bathroom so first to our right Got a nice glass door shower, and looks like it's a one-piece fiberglass, no pan down at the bottom, with a seat, and actually quite spacious. You see my face, you know how tall I am, 5'9", I'd say about 6'1", six, 6'2", six, is probably going to be the highest you're going to be comfortably inside of here. Behind us, in your hallway, I know we're moving a lot, we have of course, your toilet room. You have a vanity in here, that same countertops also. Medicine cabinet. They stopped using this light, I guess. And you can see in this whole coach, everything's like a light blue light that they replaced all the bulbs with. That's kind of a nice pattern window. China toilet, of course. A little bit of that toilet paper storage up above. More storage down there. And then finally, the medicine cabinet should have a little bit of storage too all right so that is the bathroom now finally last but not least but the bedroom like it is a little dark in here i have all the shades shut for the most part you can see the day and night shades the daytimes are down right there but your slide goes from that corner all the way down right to this corner right here got a little bit of extra closet space storage above and then of course a full closet back there washer and dryer combo behind there slightly older style tv <laughs> but this is one of my favorites a lot of people some people don't like the vanity in the bedroom i love it and look same countertops throughout lots of storage all over this thing so let me do my normal thing let me open this bad boy up and show you everything in here once again gonna look a little chaotic but we'll start right here right of the bed you got two of these drawers nice and wide one more right there not as wide above that that's why I said those seat covers. I'm pretty sure those were the front. And then above the bed, you have four openings and they are all connected. It is huge. Queen mattress on the slide. Right in front of the mattress, here's all your storages under the vanity, around the vanity. And then your th three separate medicine cabinet storages. Breaker box up there. And then if we mosey on over, you'll see your combo washer dry unit. It is a splendid. You'll see our beautiful Sony CRT TV. 
And then finally, you have your wall closet. A couple more storages down there, nothing too crazy. Top one is a little bit deeper. And you can see engine compartment access bays all over this place. That leaf for the, for the dinette does get stored right there, but you got a nice little ironing board. A couple lights in here too. You have access to the water lines and the washer and dryer right there. And then, check it out, you got a nice little safe in here too. So pretty cool. I mean, a lot of great storage, a lot of good use, a great ride system. I mean, if you guys know RVs, you know these older Monacos are just absolutely insanely well built when it comes to quality. So there's a quick walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions, go ahead, comment down below. And uh, this thing is, like I said, still for sale. 55 grand here at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. You're welcome to call me. My name's Taylor Quayle at 520 eight zero seven zero nine zero zero or shoot me an email at the email address down below in the description thank you so much for viewing guys hope you have a great day